Hello everyone, I'm going to introduce Style Dictionary Configurator. Um, this is just a few minutes video just to explain how, how it works. Um, basically there's three parts. There's a Configurator User Interface over here on the left side where you can configure your Style Dictionary config. Uh, <laughs> uh, over here the second part is the config file. So this is your Style Dictionary config. You can edit this directly in, in, in the JSON if you want. You can also choose to use the Configurator UI for it. It doesn't really matter which way you choose, uh, they will be in sync. Um, so for example, I could delete this one. And as soon as I save it, you can see it actually deletes it here in the Configurator UI. You see a few other things happening. It actually ran Style Dictionary. So maybe you saw the animation queue over here. It ran Style Dictionary. You can see now that we have some new outputs. We don't have our JavaScript output anymore. And the other thing that changed is uh, the URL. So actually, because we made some changes, it now saves all of our input files and our config files. It saves it uh, encoded in the URL. So I can share this URL with anyone. Uh, and actually, I can prove that. I can open a new tab, enter this URL, and I will get the same thing. So I will get the same tokens. I will get the same configuration. So this makes it really easy to share. And uh, if you run into any issues and you want to you want to ask someone for help, like me, you can uh, uh, give me this URL uh, as a reproduction. So that's also really nice. Um, the other thing that's probably good to note is you can upload your own tokens. So you can click upload here and I can say upload this tokens.zip and then I get my tokens. Uh, so you can see now actually it changed. So now I can click core. So this is called core.json. It's actually pretty much the same tokens. Um, but as you can see now, uh, I don't get any output. So why don't I get any output? Because in the source, I'm having a glob that expects a dot tokens.json. So if I just change this to .json and save it, hey, now I have my output again. Because this uh, glob does match this core.json file. Now there's also in uh, Token Studio, um, uh, design tokens, you also have a concept called themes. And basically what I do in the style dictionary configurator, I actually make sure that there's a, a transform group called token studio, which really makes it easy to take your token studio design tokens and make them compatible with style dictionary. So actually, as you can see here in the transforms, I'm using a token studio transform group, and you can actually see here, it expands all of the transforms that are inside that transform group. So it puts the descriptions to comments, which you can see here. So here I have a, a token description as a comment in the output. So that's one transform. I have a resolve math. So let's say we have here a math expression because we're doing a multiplication. This TS resolve math transform, make sure that that gets resolved properly. Uh, and there's a bunch more that are uh, yeah, uh, specific to uh, Token Studio to get, uh, to get us the output that we want. Um, so one thing that's also uh, in, in Token Studio is the concept of token sets and themes. So let's actually upload, so you can click here, upload tokens. Uh, let's upload a themed token set. And as soon as I click this, you'll see a couple of magic things happen. So um, we actually have uh, now multiple outputs. So we have a variables dark and a variables light. Um, so yeah, because we have multiple themes. We see here in the themes JSON that we have uh, or sorry, this themes JSON over here, we see that we actually have two themes. We have a dark theme and a light theme. And basically what the configurator does automatically, if you load uh, with this upload tokens button, you load a theme token set, it will automatically actually uh, change your source to use the theme token sets. So whatever your selected token sets are per theme, that's the token sets it will load. Um, so for light theme, it will only load core.json, light.json, and theme.json. And for the dark, it will only load core, dark, and theme.json. So this basically is a special thing that, I, uh, uh, that, that matches whatever the selected token sets are for the theme. Um, similarly, I also added a uh, percentage sign, theme percentage sign. This is also a variable, uh, and this will be the current theme. So it basically with themes, it's running multiple times style dictionary. Um, and uh, if it's running for the dark theme, this variable will be dark. So we can also say, we can change this a little bit maybe. We can do it like this. And if I save it now, you can see that the file names change to var underscore dark, var underscore light. So you can change that as, as you want. Uh, uh, but if you upload a theme token set, I just put default in there for you. Um, and you can also turn off or on the theme. So let's say I don't really want to see the dark theme at all. I could just turn it off like that. 
the segmented control component. And then as soon as I run play, you see that I only get the light. Uh, if I turn them both off, you see I don't get any output. <laughs> and if I turn them both back on, then I get my output again. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's how, how the themes work. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers all of the features that are in there so far. You can also, if you're done playing around, then maybe you want just to download the whole thing. You, there's a download button over here. So that will download all of the files as a zip. Uh, you can clear all the files if you want. Uh, yeah, you can uh, adjust also your tokens if you want. So maybe uh, let's say we want to uh, use a scale of four. I press save. You see it runs style dictionary automatically. I go in here and I see that it's now using a scale of four. So it's using four, 16, 64, et cetera. So that, that's also pretty easy to play with. Uh, all right, I think that concludes it. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you run into any bugs, uh, if you run into any issues or questions or uh, your token set doesn't work maybe, uh, just, just put it in the Slack channel and uh, I'll try to take a look at it. Uh, any feedback, more than welcome, of course. All right, bye-bye.